Hello everybody, this is Unicast doing another multicast. This time I'm going to talk in English because some people requested a video about this very topic in English. A couple of weeks ago I already made such a video about uh, the new switch architecture in OpenWRT 2102, but it was in German and some people asked me to make it in English too. And this is what I'm going to do right now. Earlier this year, a new version of OpenWRT surfaced. It is version 2102. And it came with a breaking change to the switching architecture. The new switching architecture in this version is called DSA, which stands for Distributed Switch Architecture. And the handling changed as well. So I'm going to show you how to do it and what the options are for. You need to know if you're coming from a version before 2102, like 1907, which was the most recent version before that, you might have some problems migrating to the new version since there is no automatic way of doing it. Not every device will be using the DSA. The website of OpenWRT tells you if your device will be. I will leave a link down below. So let's head into how this is being configured correctly. Let's have a look into network interfaces and there you can see that we have to make a difference between interfaces and devices. Devices are referring to the physical interfaces your device might have. Um, this is a virtual OpenWRT instance with dedicated network, with dedicated virtual network interfaces, but your device might look a little bit different, but the concepts are the same in general. So I have three interfaces on this device and the interfaces are some kind of virtual instances. They are not directly connected to the physical interfaces itself, but you need to um, make an association between the devices you configure over here and the interfaces uh, you configure in this section. The interface configuration decides what kind of IP configuration you would like to put onto it. So let's start with the pre-configured bridge LAN. Let's check it out and go into configure and we can see that ETH0, the very first interface, is actually connected to the bridge. This is a pre-configuration and we can dismiss it. I mean, let's uh, just delete it. Well, I cannot actually delete it until I remove the interface. Right. Let's see. I'm connecting to this device via the WAN connection, so I'm not breaking the device right now. Yeah, now it's gone. So let's say we have ETH1 connected to the WAN upstream port, and the other ones are freely available for my configuration. This demonstration is especially about uh, environments where you are working with bridges and especially with VLAN configurations. Let's say you have an access point and you would like to have a couple of different SSIDs broadcasted around your area. So you have maybe a dedicated network for your very private own purposes, but also for your guests and something else, whatever, you know. And you would like to connect um, all the clients that are in the guest network to the port that comes into your firewall, which is <laughs> especially configured for your guests, of course, so that they cannot connect to your internal network, but of course they should be able to connect to the internet. On the other hand, you might want to have an SSID for your, your very personal devices and the permissions for them should be more open. So you would need to connect the SSID to some kind of bridge. And in the older versions of OpenWRT, you created one dedicated bridge for every kind of virtual LAN. This can be done very differently in this version and we are going to do it right now. What we're going to do is we create a new bridge device 
and let's say we call it main bridge and we're not just connecting one physical adapter to it but all all that are available and we're not doing any kind of VLAN configuration on this level right now we flag this option because we would like the bridge to come up even if the physical parts are not connected so next we're going to go into the bridge VLAN filtering section and this is quite new the concept of VLAN filtering on bridges is not exactly new but it's new to OpenWRT and it comes in really handy some people call it VLAN aware bridges and we will be enabling this section what we also need to do is add VLAN IDs so let's say our VLAN ID 21 is for our private network and let's see all our private devices are connected via ETH0 so um, it depends what actually is connected to ETH0 if you have another kind of switch you might want to set it to tagged if the switch port on the other side is also set to tagged but if you have for example just one computer connected to it you would want to say untagged like that and let's say we are also using VLAN ID 21 for our guests and the guests are being connected to ETH2 let's save it and now we have a bridge device which is uh, VLAN aware and we can save it now that we have configured the bridge devices we are able to configure IP configurations onto them but it depends not every time you would like to have the OpenWRT device to have an IP address in that very network let's say we would like to have an IP address within the private range which was VLAN ID 21 so let's see it's private let's name it private and then we say DHCP client and over here we can select between the newly created bridges with a different uh, VLAN ID and I said we would like to choose 21 which we are going to do right here and on let's not say DHCP client says static address like that and switch protocol and then we say like all right that's it all right now we have this private interface uh, which is only connected to all clients that are also in VLAN 21 and VLAN 21 happens to be configured on the ETH0 port as you can see we don't want to have an IP address on the access point let's say on the guest network because why would the guests uh, connect to the access point we don't want them to this is just one example of how you can do it but I just wanted to show you that you can configure it differently than before and some people might get confused about the new method but in my opinion this is uh, a little bit more straightforward if you <laughs> if you accustom yourself to this new VLAN aware bridges or VLAN filtering let's delete it once again you of course can also do it differently the examples remains the same we would like to have one port for our private guests uh, for our private devices and one port for our guest devices and this time we're not creating a bridge we are saying VLAN and we said 21 is for private guests all right so we are creating a new device which is uh, named ETH0 and we are directly attaching it to VLAN 21 this time we don't have this VLAN aware switch options and we are also doing another VLAN device and this time on ETH2 and this is VLAN ID 22 and now we can hit save once again and configure the interface again it's again private and we say static address 
and this time we're not choosing any bridge device but the direct attached uh, physical device create interface and let's use the same specifics as before and the result is basically the same but you can imagine if you have more different interfaces and more different VLANs you are going to use it is very different in the amount of labor you need to put into it you would have to create all the devices manually all one by one in contrast to the other method where you have just one bridge and go to the VLAN aware section and add VLANs and then you can add interfaces onto the bridge with regard to the VLAN ID so the new technique which I presented firstly is the more easier one the, the one where you have to do less work this is still of course the same example with two interfaces where you want one to be for the private guests and one to be for the <laughs> I said private guests again I mean for the private devices and one for your guests all right let's have a look at a real access point device this is an this is an APU 4 from PC engines a formidable device I can tell you that and here you can see that I have a couple of different ports and all of them are connected to the bridge and here you can see that for all the different physical interface ports I would like them I would like them to be on different VLANs on ETH0 for example the upstream switch is connected and all the different types of uh, virtual LANs are being transferred within their very own VLAN ID and for that purpose the upstream port is all being set to tagged but on the other interfaces I would like all the clients connected to port ETH0 to be in VLAN 5 and uh, as you can see on ETH2 all the devices connected are put into VLAN 62 this is the device section let's head over to the interfaces here you can see that only within the management area I have configured IP addresses because I don't want the access point to be or uh, to have IP addresses within every kind of uh, virtual LAN let's head over to the wireless section this is uh, just one specific SSID I'm broadcasting and this is the important part here you can see to which interface configuration this wireless SSID should be connected to yeah and that's basically it I mean if you have further questions or if I left out very important things which I just forgot please remind me in the comment section I hope I was able to make it clear to all of you how the new configuration works and of course I would like to have you very much fun with OpenWRT because it's a formidable piece of software much better in most cases than any type of stack firmware so I would like to say thank you for everybody who watched the video till the end if you liked it just leave a thumbs up and I would be happy to make even more content for your English speaking folks again thank you very much and see you next time